Today feels like the perfect day to reorganize Alice's toys. I have a 15 month old and I've been doing toy rotations. I I think since she was like eight or nine months old maybe. I feel like it's been a while and it has worked so well for us, but I want to actually put her toys in the correct categories because now that I see that she's getting older, I want to make sure that I have like a toy per category out on her toy shelves. I'm gonna make a quick coffee to enjoy. I just put Alice down for a nap and we're gonna go organize the toys together and walk you through the toy categories. I'm going to do the toys that I have and also the toys I'm gonna be putting out in her new rotation. And thanks to Joycat for sponsoring this video, I can show you some of our new favorite toys that we've been playing with that have really helped with language development and just Alice learning while she's playing. We've been loving the Joy Cat toys because it really makes learning fun and engaging for toddlers through interactive play. We've been using the talking flashcards, which are really good for introducing just basic concepts of random objects throughout your house, different animal sounds. They even have songs on these. The cards are really good for repetition and visual aids in early language development. And of course, my toddler just loves taking them in and out and pressing the button and hearing all of the sounds with them. We also really love the ice cream set for counting you can demonstrate how to put the ice cream scoops together, the cones together. You can build them really, really tall. You can do colors and you can do pretend play with it. Alice really loves feeding her dog ice cream. Another really fun one is the busy board book for the farm. This is a great toy that you could take to church or in the car because it's so quiet and it really works on fine motor skills, but also language development because we're learning all of the names of the objects in the book. We're learning animal sounds. It's a really fun busy book for for her. If you're interested in trying out some of the Joy Cat toys, I actually have a discount code. You can check the link down below and soon your kids will also be able to enjoy learning with all of these Joy Cat toys. I make a quick iced maple latte that is keto friendly since I've been doing keto. I use the Fairlife whole milk in order to keep the carb count down and the fat and the protein high. And I use a maple allulose syrup and a pinch of salt and the iced Legiro Nespresso pod, which is a two shot espresso pod for iced lattes. So, 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 so good. I just brought down an empty diaper box because I need to put this stuff into this to take it all upstairs so I can organize it. And then once I finish the actual organizing and the rotations, I'll bring down a current rotation. Welcome to all of the toys. How I'm going to do this, I have done some research on the categories that other people do their toy rotations. I think I'm going to start with the six categories and then the older that Alice gets, I can divide that up into more categories if I feel like it's necessary. But I'll tell you the categories just so you know. So if I were to do 10 categories, it would be problem solving, musical, sensory, cause and effect, puzzles, active play, pretend play, language development, building, and small world play. I've seen people use those categories for their two-year-olds, but since Alice is only 15 months old, I don't want to overwhelm myself and our garage is currently being built. So I don't have a ton of like storage space at the moment in order to like divide this out into a bunch of different categories. So I'm gonna start with six. So I'm gonna do sensory, which is going to be textures, noises, musical, things that feel weird. I'm gonna do fine motor, which would be anything that's physically challenging for her, whether it's putting coins in a slot, pegs in a little peg thing. Then the next one is cause and effect. So this is any action that would cause another action. Then we have puzzles and educational. I'm putting those together because she hasn't quite gotten puzzles yet. Those are definitely hard for her. Um, but then we also have educational, which I'm going to talk a lot about the language development toys that we have, especially the ones that we have from Joy Cat. And I'll show you like how we play with those and how great they are. Then we have building, which 
obviously that's you know anything you can build and then we have pretend play and i'm just doing pretend play and small small world play like all together because she is only now starting to get into pretend playing and i feel like the little people small world play are gonna fit really well into there um so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and divide it all up i think i only have five of these bins these are bins i get from target i'll probably just have to throw things in like a box or something <music> the toys in their categories it actually wasn't as hard as i expected like it didn't take that long and it was really nice to go through and see toys that maybe i need to put away because alice just has outgrown them you know she's already she knows how to do them all they've worked their purpose especially when i've had them in a couple of the rotations and she's just not really gravitated towards them anymore because they don't challenge her anymore i set those aside so that way they can be used for future babies another really nice thing is that i was able to see just how much i have for each category and now i know that i'm actually missing a lot of building things which i think is okay because for her age she only is now being able to start building she can stack six blocks so that's something that i need to look for for christmas and for her second birthday is really getting some things for her to build we have a huge set of the grimm's square blocks and then my sister handed down a thing of mega blocks um but other than that those are our first blocks and like she's only i'm gonna be pulling out the mega blocks actually in this rotation so that way she can start learning how to build them so in our building category we have the mega blocks that i was telling you about so we have this set that my sister handed down and then I just pulled out 20 blocks or something. These are like the Grimm's wooden blocks. I actually have, it's like a set of 100, but I don't pull all of those out because that's just a lot. But these are like stained wooden blocks and they're like grippy so they don't like fall over really easy. And so she has been working with these in order to like build six blocks. I think at this age, you only really need to stack maybe two, but we work with her in those. And then I have some stacking cups in here. So for building, that's it. So when I'm looking at like thrift stores and on Facebook Marketplace for like Christmas presents and birthday presents, cause I like to buy things ahead of time and then save them. So that way I'm really saving money on this stuff. And because I like to buy like some good quality things because I want toys to last for multiple kids. If you have any recommendations on building toys, definitely drop a comment down below because I'll be looking. I know magnet tiles, are very well known and i was thinking of getting her some i've seen them a lot of the times at like once upon a child at the thrift store so maybe i'll pick up a set for like christmas or her birthday if there's anything else any other building toys that you recommend let me know i think like lego duplos is like pretty popular then once they get into that like two-year-old stage all right now for cause and effect um i definitely need to get some bigger bins for this stuff because i have like bigger items especially for cause and effect that don't fit in here um so one of them is a toy from love every this is like the racetrack so you put the cars down and they just like you know come down we also have this toy from love every which has like, openings and you put the balls on the top i'm trying to be quiet but put the balls on the top and it goes down she has loved this one for months but I definitely think she'll be outgrowing this one pretty soon. Then we have Melissa and Doug um, like farm. And so it has these little like round that you can like put in different ways and they come out different ways. This is a really nice toy and I got this at the thrift store. Then the other things we have in our cause and effect, I have the Melissa and Doug like soft cars. You like pull these back and they'll go. Little peg guy, if you push these down, they like jump up and go up. It's like spring action. And then just like the farm, we have the bus and those like melissa and doug little discs and so you can like drive the bus but if you hit the button like all the cars come out and then you can like open up the bus door and stuff that was our cause and effect bin next is going to be our puzzles and education and i actually i didn't put like the 
puzzle puzzles in this bin because number one they're not going to fit and all the puzzles are just going to fall out. I have been looking for good puzzle storage for a really long time. I just had them in a drawer but then it's hard to like you know put them in and out and rotate them well. I know that Melissa and Doug makes like a rack but I don't know if all the puzzles are going to fit on the rack especially since we have some large knob ones. Almost all my puzzles have come from the thrift store so I have found the Melissa and Doug large knob aquarium. We have the farm one, zoo one. We have this like house car one, the aquarium. I actually have two other Melissa and Doug puzzles that are like this, um, but I'm saving them for like Christmas, but I got them at a thrift store. From Love Every, we have the garden vegetable one, and then we have this like circle uh, kid one that she really likes. And then the other things that I put in puzzles and education. Um, so this piggy bank would have been considered fine motor skills, but she has already totally been able to do the fine motor skills. So because this isn't a fine motor skill challenge for her, I'm putting it in education because we can also use this for colors and counting. We're working on different skills with this toy, even though she's mastered the fine motor part of this toy. Then I also put in this love every like bug felt in here. You like learn to open this up again. This would have been considered like fine motor a couple months ago for her but now that she knows how to do it i'm actually putting it in educational so that way she can learn the names of the bugs she loves that toy by the way i have these like peekaboo little farm things so it has like the animals and they can go in like the little barns um again this could have been considered fine motor if they were learning to like open it and take out the thing but like, obviously she's more advanced than that so now we're going to use it for colors animal recognition, sounds, and there's also numbers on here. This isn't quite considered like, I don't know, maybe it's educational. So I have pictures of like my family because I have a large family and I laminated them and she loves looking through these. I have multiple different types of flashcards. She loves flashcards. We have the DK My First Word cards. These ones are really great because they have like touch and feel stuff on them. They're also pretty durable. The most durable ones are going to be the ones from Love Every. They come in this box and they're very thick and durable. And I mean, these have like bite marks and everything. I mean, because I've had these out for since she was like a little, little baby. If you don't have a Love Every subscription or you can't buy it used, I buy a lot of Love Every toys used, then the DK first word ones, I would say are the second best. And then third best are these plastic ones that I just recently got. I would definitely use these for like an older kid and not a baby because they're definitely more on the thinner side, but they're still really big. And Alice always loves like real life people. So she loves that like they have the real life people because all Love Every stuff has like real life people and that's why she loves the Love Every toys. Yeah, flashcards are one of her favorite and they're so good with language development. Thanks to Joy Cat for sending us these new flashcards. She loves this thing. She plays with this all the time. So it came with so many different flashcards. Like I'm talking a ton of different flashcards and it's, it's all different categories. So it's food, it's transportation, it's colors, and you can do them in English or in Spanish. She loves turning this thing on. So you turn it on and then you put the card actually into it and it will say what the actual name of the card is. So it'd be like harp. And then sometimes if there's a sound associated with it, it will make the sound. There's also songs in here. She has been obsessed with this ever since we got it. Oh. wipers on the bus go. I'm gonna do that one. All right. Yeah, snakes. Snake. Whoa, snakes. Dada. Oh yeah, is that a mama and a dada? I'm gonna do this one. Papa. Okay. Let's put this one in. Ready? Orange. An orange. Hmm. Do you eat them? I would highly recommend these are the joy cat talking flashcards especially if you have a toddler that you are trying to teach 
how to talk. These are great for just recognition and language development in general. It also is a really good thing to take in the car because you can charge it and then you can easily take it in the car and have them like, you know, be entertained throughout the car ride. Another thing I have in here is this like little book library. She's obsessed with little books and so I usually pull these out in a rotation just so that way they're little books that she can just like look at and have like a couple other little ones that I keep by our changing table because she gets to pick one little book to look at while we change her diaper because she does not enjoy getting her diaper changed. Lastly in the educational bin I am putting this huge ice cream container from joy cat oh my gosh she has loved this thing so it is a huge container of all these different ice cream cones and toppers and so you can teach colors you can teach numbers they can work on their fine motor skills so all the cones have different numbers on them so like this is a six and you can learn to put these on you could do like okay i need six orange ice creams and you literally can just stack them up so that way they can learn how to count the color recognition um everything is just so great with this and you can also use it for like pretend play because you could use this if you we don't have a little kitchen yet but i would like to get that for her for christmas so we could play like ice cream counter and do all kinds of fun things with these so she has really enjoyed these and it's going to be really great for her fine motor skills and with working on colors and stuff it also is nice it comes in this like tin and literally it has these little things so like the lid doesn't fall off and so you can just carry this around if you need to blue ice cream one should mama put green ice cream mm. oh are you feeding your puppy is he eating ice cream <laughs> yeah does he want to try green ice cream can you try that one Yummy. What other one should he try? Mm. Should he try the pink one? Uh, pink ice cream? Can we put it on? Dodo. Oh, is he gonna eat the ice cream? Mmm, mm, yum. Whoa. Look how many ice creams mommy has. Whoa. Whoa. It all fell down. Are you going to build it? You want to put the ice creams on? Oh, are you putting it on the lid? On. 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 Oh, are you closing it? Good job. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. up is fine motor skills so one of our new favorite toys from joy cat and something that i've been really wanting to get especially for car rides is the busy books so like any type of busy book quiet book is amazing especially for this age and so joy cat sent us this busy farm book this thing is amazing of all the busy books i had looked at this is the best one because there's so many fun things in here in here on the first page like there's a little cow that you can take in and out. She has been obsessed with this thing. You can learn how to zipper. There's these little button flowers. You can take the actual flowers off. You can move the cloud across. There's apples that you can Velcro on. You can also put them down here in the little basket. We have some carrots that you can just pull out like this. We have snaps so you can snap on the sun and also these tomatoes snap on and off and we have our little tractor the door can open you can velcro off the cloud these little hay bales can come off and you can actually undo the loop here and you can put the hay bales into this barn i mean how cool is that that's really cool you can open up this window you can also unbutton the wheels on the tractor and then she loves these little animals so all these little animals come out she can learn all the animal sounds she can learn all the names of them there's a little piggy here and then eventually when she's going to learn to tie shoes we can work on tying shoes and then the chicken over here you can undo the loop and then each of these eggs actually hatches and a little chick comes out. She is obsessed with this. Like she loves playing with this busy book. You want a zipper? Zip. Oh, you want two? 
Two flowers. Apples. Oh, a sun. Oh, are you putting flowers in the basket? What does a cow say? Mm. Moo. What does a horse say? <coughs> what does a chicken say? Bark, bark. A horse. <coughs> Good job. Oink, 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 oink. It's just so helpful in the car. You could take it to church if you need a quiet activity. I just love how this really works with the fine motor skills, but also just the language in general. It's so nice to be able to have toys that are educational and teaching your child. She's just learning so much because we're sitting there, we're like pretend playing the animals, we're talking about sounds, we're learning the names of things. It's just a really helpful tool if you're trying to work with your toddler on certain things, but you want to play with them and you don't really know like what do I do like when I'm playing with them. I find that like all these joy cat toys have been just really great with like me working with Alice and teaching her language and cognitive skills. All right, some other things in the fine motor development here. We have this toy from Love Every. It has these little pegs that you can put in. You can stack them and build. This is a new one that I had pulled out recently, so she has not quite gotten this skill yet. She can like sometimes put them on, but it's not like she's really good at it yet. So we're still working on that one. We've had this one for a really long time. I mean, we've had it out since she was a baby. A lot of times the kids just like eating these men. It really is a shape sorter. And so we want to work with her on these actual shapes because she has not been working on like a lot of these, you know, harder ones. She knows like the basic ones, um, but a lot of these are like, you know, a lot of different ones. And we have these little eggs. Um, again, I have these in fine motor skills just because when you take an egg apart, you have to put it back together, but you would have to like do it in order for the shape to line up. And so some of these are easy, like there's circle ones that she can actually put together, but then some of them are harder, like a star that she doesn't know how to put together yet. When she does learn how to put these together, they could also go in pretend play. They could go in her kitchen. You could pretend that they're eggs. She could work on colors. She could work on shapes. There's a lot of different things to do with these. Another fine motor skill are these little canisters from Love Every. These are amazing. She loves these things. So like this one twists on, this one pulls open, and then this one just like flips open. So this one's obviously the easiest one. She knows how to do those two, but she has not quite learned how to do the twist. So I've been working with her on twisting, and this is just a really good thing to have as this canister set. I know it seems weird, but she loves putting toys and random things in these. We do have our first like Velcro food for her to learn how to cut. She has not mastered that yet. So that is a very good thing for her to keep learning how to play with. This is another love every toy that you can learn how to put these down on. Now she actually does know how to do these, um, but I'm keeping it out in order for her to learn how to do different colors because there's like all different colors in here. Um, so I figured this would be really good when we are talking about colors. So I might actually move this more to the educational bin next rotation or so um, if I feel like she has really excelled with just the fine motors of this. All right, this is another thing from Love Every. It actually came with three different tops. So the easiest one is to push these carrots down into this top and she definitely knows how to do that. The The second one was to push in coins. So you have this little coin slot and it comes with these wooden coins. She also knows how to do that. Then there's this third one that people have, they've done like Q-tips before, but I've seen a lot of people say that they keep these Starbucks stoppers to do that. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start saving like the Starbucks stoppers. A category that we hardly have anything in is the sense texture and noises bin. So in the future, I definitely need to work on adding some more things to this. So this I'm going to pull out. This We haven't used it yet. My sister handed it down to us. I know I'm probably going to regret it, okay? But Alice just started walking, and so this is a walker popper. I mean, you all probably know because it's like, isn't that the famous like 80s toy or 90s toy? So we have that. I also have just a bag with random different balls, uh, little bunnies in here. I mean, it's just kind of like random texture stuff. We have a scarf. We have another ball. This one lights up. I have a little poppet thing in here. I know that this could be considered fine motor, but she knows how to do it. So I figured we would count this as like textures. And then we also have our music uh, bag. These are, I think, bee toys. So it came with all these different ones 
We got this for her first birthday and she has really enjoyed these. We do go to music class um, usually once a week. It's that music together. So she is around music a lot. So I think I would do more of a textures kind of thing in here. I'm not sure exactly what I would add, but I'm gonna keep my eye out. And last but not least is the pretend play, small world play. Now this is the largest section, surprisingly, but also not surprisingly because we love little people. And so we have, you know, a couple different little people things. We do have the farm, which is one of her favorite toys of all time. She has loved this thing. We got it for her for Christmas when she was only like eight months or so. And this has just been such a good investment. I think I even got it on sale. So I think I only paid $30, but definitely get the farm. Like if you ever need to get a little people something, get the farm, it is the best toy ever. I would really like to get her the little people dollhouse for Christmas, but I gotta see if I can find it on a good sale somewhere. We also have the food truck. I got this at the thrift store. We have the dump truck, which is also from the thrift store. We have the safari truck, which is also from the thrift store. We have the zoo train, which is also from the thrift store. We have all of the different like the people sets that kind of go with all those things. Then I have her love every baby doll. I actually would like to get her like a, a real baby doll or like you know just one that has more things with it that you could like get dressed up, have a bottle, whatever. I'm probably looking for one for Christmas time maybe, maybe her birthday. Uh, but if you have any recommendations on a good like baby doll for a toddler, a two year old, because she already likes to pretend feed her stuffed animals. So I need to get something that's gonna have like some accessories to it. And then she has her little like stroller thing downstairs that I'm sure she would love pushing her baby doll in. But we have this little Love Every one for now. These little animals from Love Every she really likes. These are like lots real life animals. I want to get some more like, I think they're called Schleich or whatever. Um, I would like to get more real life animals because she loves these things. These are one of her favorites. Then I got this at a thrift store. This is like the Fisher Price uh, picnic basket. And so it does make noise and stuff, but you can pretend to have a little picnic. It does have this shape here, um, but she does know how to do these. And so I didn't put it in the more educational type stuff because this is kind of used more of a pretend play. Like we're having a picnic, let's all eat, feed your animals, you know, that kind of thing. And then lastly, my sister actually handed us down this toy. Um, this is actually just a little puppy dog and it comes with like a little brush, other like little medicine or something like that. And she, again, really enjoys this. I think she's gonna be really big on pretend play and imaginative play. So this probably is going to be a bigger category than some of the other things, just the older that she gets. But for now, those are the things. So it's actually not a lot of pretend play. It's more little people, small world play. But we also don't have a kitchen yet. So that's probably one of the reasons why, because I know like the kitchen is gonna technically be like pretend play. Now we have to build uh, this week's toy rotation. We will be going away but I still need to put new toys out for today and tomorrow because she's had her last toy rotation out for a while which obviously we put that away already. Because I have eight slots in our toy rotation shelf, which is just the shelf I got from Target, um, for some of these I'm gonna be picking two. So for like pretend play, I will be picking a little people toy for like the small world play, but then also a pretend play. So put out the little people farm because we haven't had it out in a while. And then I'm also gonna put out her little puppy dog so that way she can feed him and like brush him and stuff. For the sensory, I'm going to put out this walker thing which is going to drive me nuts probably but i think she's going to really enjoy it for the fine motor skills i'm going to put this out because i know this is going to be a challenge for her and then i'm going to run by starbucks and see if they'll give me some of the drink toppers and because we're going on a trip i'm going to be pulling out the busy book so that way i can take this along on the trip then for puzzles and education i'm going to pull out the ice cream set so that way she can play with this because this is be really fun and i'm gonna go ahead and pick out the flash cards from that set so i'm doing two from like the puzzles and the education and i know that she's gonna have a really fun time with these flash cards because we'll be going on a trip i am gonna be bringing the joy cat talking flash cards because again this and the busy book are gonna be absolutely awesome on the trip for cause and effect i'm gonna put out this little 
uh, peg toy so that way you push it down and it pops up. She has not mastered this yet so this is definitely something that she's learning. Then lastly for building I'm gonna put out the Lego or, or the mega blocks because again she doesn't know how to do this. This is pretty much new to her so this will be a nice little challenge. Okay I set up her new toy rotation and then I have her little noisy thing there and then we always keep her stroller walker and like multiple different little animals that she loves to hold those we always keep up here for decoration we'll bring them down when she wants to play with them and stuff but i don't rotate them out they're just there for because they're pretty i'm very excited about this rotation and i'm so glad to know that i actually have one to two of each category out because in the rotation i just put away i had so many fine motor skills out at one time and then not any of the other categories so i feel like this is going to be better especially just to keep her attention for her to enjoy playing with and for her to always be excited about the new toys coming out it's also just so easy to clean up when you only have this amount of toys out and every week i get a new rotation and she is always so excited to see the new toys that are put out even though she's played with them many times before hopefully this video really helped show you the toys that are really great for language development fine motor skills pretend play all that kind of stuff i am like obsessed with little kid toys like let's be real i probably have too many but the toy rotation works out so well so i don't feel like we're overwhelmed with toys i'm really glad that i put them in the categories because now i'll just be able to make sure that i have one of each thing out for her if you are interested in checking out the joy cat toys i highly recommend them they have been a huge hit here in the house i will put a link down below so that way you can check out they have tons of other educational toys that would work out for your toddler your baby your older child so check out that link in the description and thank you again to joy cat for sponsoring today's video i am actually gonna go wake up my little baby so that way she can enjoy playing these toys she gets so excited for a new rotation thanks again for watching and i'll see you in another video soon bye everyone